European scientists are working tirelessly to stop the pandemic. At this stage, testing and diagnosis are essential. At the Barcelona Institute of Nanotechnology, Professor Lechuga's team is developing a nano biosensor for the rapid detection of COVID-19. It will be a device that takes a saliva sample. You put it in, wait a few minutes, and the device will tell us whether you're infected or not, and the value of the viral load you have. Tests can be carried out without the need for specialised personnel. But how does this device work? A biological preparation is attached to light-sensitive chips to trap the virus. This fluid trap, developed by the University of Marseille, acts as a bait on the coronavirus S protein. Researchers are injecting inactive COVID compounds into the biosensor. Light beams inserted into the chip capture the presence and the quantity of viruses in the sample. This European project is called CONVAT and has a budget of just over two and a half million euros from European funds for research and innovation in partnership with the European Cohesion Policy. The two-year project is also partnered with specialised centres in Spain, France and Italy. Not only will it be used for the detection of COVID, but it will also help to prevent new pandemics. Jordi Serracobo is part of the project. He studies what is referred to as reservoir animals, such as here in the Pyrenees. Bats can have up to 3,000 different coronaviruses. It is important to know the types of coronaviruses present in these bat populations in order to estimate which ones could make the leap from one species to another, not directly to us, but to intermediate species. Genetic material from the bats is currently analysed using the PCR techniques in the laboratory. Next year, Convat biosensors will make it possible to sample the reservoir animals in the wild, which will be faster, more efficient and cheaper. The French project partners are providing the biological material for the device, while the Italians will carry out the clinical tests. What we're doing now is integrating all this technology into cartridges that will be portable. That could then be connected to a mobile device or a tablet, and we'd have the results in 10 minutes. It's expected that clinical trials will start before the end of 2020.